Hello and welcome to part one of Afternoon Clouds. I'm George Call, here to introduce a new three-part series. They're all about 30 minutes a piece and uh, break it into three sections. Part one is uh, block in and I go through that step by step today and the goal is to cover the whole canvas in paint. Part two is balance. In other words, we're trying to make sure the values work with surrounding values and colors. And part three is uh, we finally can use some smaller brushes and do some detail at the very, very end. But really, I teach a lot about foundation. You have a good foundation, the rest of the painting goes really easy. And I think that's what I did today. <clears throat> Time will tell as I get into part two and three. All right, so remember, part one is going to be thin paints. Get outside and paint, paint with your friends, get critiques, and don't be intimidated by a white canvas sitting there on your easel. All right, let's get to today's painting. All right, see you there. Bye-bye. Hello, and here we are on part one of a three-part series titled afternoon clouds. So um, my voice is coming back so I'm going to give an attempt to do three more sessions on this thing and hope my voice holds the whole time. <clears throat> okay. With that from the overhead you can see I've got my old basics here and not too many of them. I have my two blues, two reds, three yellows. I might put another one down if I can find my other I kind of like this Naples. I'll put Naples out. And I have my two browns, or I have a transparent oxide red and a transparent oxide brown. On the right here, I have a, uh, my two grays, my uh, cold gray and ice blue here. And over here, I have a diazosine purple. And over here, two greens, which is a viridian and a permanent. Alrighty, I have my turp here, which is gamsol, and then I have a very clean gamsol here too. So I have two gamsols over on the right. Alright, I'm going to start my timer and, um, oh, let me get my timer right. Okay. So we should be ready to get started here with afternoon clouds. I'm working on a um, 10 by 12, kind of small, but um, I've got a frame for it. That's why I'm making it that size. And uh, I've got my, my two knives, and it looks like I've got a Da Vinci number. Oh, so covered up and mucked up. Looks like a, a maybe a six. I have a two, four, and a eight. Uh, looks like um, rosemaries, long flats, two seven O's. And they're all two seven O's, yes. Every one of them. Okay. So I think we are ready to go. Let me get some things organized here so I can get going. So with this kind of a, oh, moody painting. Um, I just love these things uh, because it's so tonal. I mean, everything's kind of close in one tone, but we still got to figure out some darks and lights in this to um, make it work. The location is up there in Rocky Mountain National Park, close to the outlet of the lock, one of my favorite places to paint. All right, so where should we start? I think uh, we should start with making some grays. So let's make two grays. Here's a light gray, which is blue ice. And here's a dark gray, which is cold gray, 270 by Remington. And Let's make a green. So let's make a blue and a yellow ochre. Okay. 
And let's throw some Naples in it. I think I need some more yellow ochre in there. There we go. And we are ready to go. All right, I'm going to start with my uh, Da Vinci. It's a little stiffer, it's short, it's worn out. But it's good for uh, this phase of the painting. So let's go in here with one of these grays, maybe kind of in between the two. And I think we have like a, get a little bit camsole in here to get a little bit of a run out of it. too far over here. Nice thing about the stage, just erase it with a little bit of turp. And then in the back I have a, a background mountain in here. I think this might be moved over just a little bit more. I don't want to accent that background shape back here with the snow fields. And then over here I have the all this base here of these darks coming through here. And then I have some trees over here, but let me figure out some basic shapes here. I'm going to go into the green pile. I'm going to add a little bit of permanent to this. Permanent green. A little bit more blue. Ultra blue. There we go. And I think I need to have some shapes of, there's an island out here. Up in here somewhere. And then in here is going to be a lot of water. But let's get over to some, looks like this grassy areas here. And then we have a lot of trees. So let me make a good tree. I'm going to go brown, blue, viridian. I'm going to add a little bit of Naples to it. And let me start making some trees here. You know there's a big guy that goes right off the canvas here. I'll put another one over here too. Just added one. Okay, let's do this. And some more trees. Way up at high altitude, these trees get so tall and slender, graceful. And then there's this funny fellow over here. Kind of a little bit more sparse. Over here, and then little guys over here. There's kind of a dark in here. Right in here. And we'll put a tree over here. Here. And here. That's a little too dark in here. Alrighty, so far so good. Okay, let's go into this lighter color. 
And let's start changing some brushes here now. Alright, so let's go in. I'm going to go in with the uh, number 6 or 8. 6 or 8. Rosemary. A little bit more Naples to it. And I added some Gamsol to kind of get some spread out of it. sure I can have some water coming through here. And I think I've got some, oh, I've got some trees I missed. Let me go back to that original one I was using here. I think I need a tree right in here, a squatty tree. A couple of them. I think we're in the right place now. And I think this comes down into a V right in here somewhere. Kind of a V there, a low spot. Okay. Back to the greens. Changing paper towels now. That one was pretty well used up. Oh, looks like I've got some paper towels that are... Oh, no, they're still... Nope. I like half paper towels. I'm trying to cover up my white canvas in here. Now, I know there's all kinds of detail in here, but I want to just caution you to try to stay away from that. And let's go in and make some more darks. Here's Blue Ultra, Transparent Oxide Brown, Viridian. And we do have some great darks on the base of these grassy areas. Just whack them in there. All right. Well, to go next, I want to decide that, and to decide that I usually go back and take a look. And it's time we started working on the upper upper areas of gray. Okay. Paper towels. Here we go. So I can see if I can move away some of these big piles I have here. I think this green is too far gone. So I'm going to get rid of green. I think I can do some stuff with maybe dark gray, not much, and light gray. I think I'll work with light gray and make a bigger pile of it. Okay, more gray. More light gray. And I want to add a little bit of Ultra to light. And a little gray. And let me go in with Big Brush here. And Oh, that's, I think that might work. I 
Again, this is a stage where I'm keeping it pretty thin. I have a little bit of Gamsol just to kind of get some spread out of it and caution you against getting it too thick. I know there's snow fields and things in there that we can do something about, but not right now. So let's start getting some of this little bit grayer. Let's have a little bit of green in it. Let's see what that does. I think that might have a chance. Let me see. A little bit more blue. This goes way up here. I think I need a little bit more. I didn't make enough product. But with a little bit of Gamsol, I can... make it go. Whoa, that's close in value. I'm going to add a little bit more gray and a little bit more viridian. A little bit more gray. And more slope in here. We're so lucky to be living here in Loveland because I'm so close, just I think really about 40 minutes from the park and most of that driving is just getting through this tourist town of Estes Park. And I commend the park because they control access now. You have to make a reservation online and then you can get in there. Let me get up back here and take a look. Okay, I can see that there is a dark in front of the light. And um, let's work on the foreground. Now, there's a lot of light in the water on the left side and a lot of dark. So what I'm going to do is just see what I can do with this stuff. Oh, there's not much. I'll save it for the sky, put it over to the left, and here we go. Let's make a dark, let's just work on a dark base and do that. So let's go ultra blue, dark gray, and viridian. Transparent oxide brown, transparent oxide brown, viridian, and a little bit of, oh boy, I put too much light gray in it. Sorry, back to the drawing boards. Blue, brown, okay, I think we've got it, I think we do. I'm going back to that bigger brush, trying to get the lighter gray out of it. And here I go. Just put this in everywhere. A little bit of... And we'll worry about those lights later. And before we're done, we're going to thin this paint out even more with some paper towel or the one of the knives. All right, let's get up to the sky. I'm doing my time. Checking my 
by the timer. All right. I'm doing well. Got nine minutes left. I'm going to move this green off, this green gray. That's not much of it. And work on that sky. Let's see if I can make a different gray. So let's go with red. That's a alizarin. And green. Thoroughly mixed. I'm going to throw some light gray in it. Oh, that's nice. And now <clears throat> some white on one side. I need to make more red, green, and some gray. More green. I think I'm coming in now to a good gray. And now I'm going to add some gray to it. Oh, nice. That's pretty. That is very pretty. Okay, time to get going here. See, I have these variations of darks to lights to very light. And that is the way to make a good mixture. All right. Now, I want to get a design in there that works. So I have to have some combination of darks and lights. And let's do that now. I'm going to clean my brush that I was using, number six or eight, whatever this thing is. And I want to go in with, cautiously with a, the lighter side of this gray. Get a little bit of Gamsol on there, not much. Just a tip of the brush. There's a little bit of blue over to the right, blue sky, but let's go into the lighter stuff now and work that in. A little bit more white there, as you can see. Now, I didn't go in to soften my, <coughs> my edges yet in <coughs> the clouds, but I will do that. I'm trying to cover up my white canvas areas and get back and take a look. All right. Try to cover up my, my gray or my white areas peeking through. here just a little bit. Try to cover up these canvas areas. I think my darker gray has to come over here more. Alrighty, let's start softening these edges. So I'm going to 
I start. I'm still using this pretty coarse. This isn't the softest of the of the uh, rosemarys, but see how I soften the edges just by coming up and softening them. I'm gonna get some pure white and put a few of those splotches in here, just a few in places that might make a difference. I think I need a few right up in here. Again, let me try a different way to soften the sky. And you've seen me do this before. And I'm going to use a softer knife. It's called a connoisseur. It's a little bit more flexible. And And I am going to go and soften this. Sorry for the buzzing of all these different devices that make noises to us. They buzz. And now I'm going to soften some of these edges just by using my knife back and forth. and doing some scraping at the same time to keep it thin. And then I go back and see how I'm just softening the edges. Now down here, I'm really going to do some, I've got my paper towel and I'm going to Really thin out some of this area where I'm going to be doing some overlays with the lighter colors in the water. And that is a block in. Since I have a little bit of time left, I'm going to work on uh, reshaping my trees just a little bit. I've got a couple minutes. So let me go back with a smaller brush. This is a number four rosemary 279. So I'm going to go back with brown and blue. I put some transparent oxide red in there too. And more blue. A little bit of yellow ochre. And some gamsol. I'm sorry, some yellow ochre. A little bit of viridian, not much. Boy, I sure messed up this brush. <clears throat> I'm going to add a little bit more blue and a little bit more brown and go over to this big boy over here. And get him working a little better. I guess there's a couple trees here. And I'll work on these two. And I'm just Doing some darkening throughout the back here. <clears throat> All right, I think that should about do it. All right, that is block in for afternoon clouds. It's so moody up in the park, particularly in you know late June and July. It's we get these afternoon showers coming up even into August, but September is stunningly blue up there. All right, <clears throat> thank you so much for coming in for part one, and I will bring this to an end. There's my timer, right on time. All right, thanks very much. See you in part two.